What's going on guys? It's Tyler and today we're going to be looking at my 1982 Toyota pickup truck uh, with a 4.7 motor out of a 2002 Tundra. Now what I did was I went out in this thing and I had my alternator switch or my alternator hooked up to a switch and I had to turn it on and off in order to charge the battery essentially but instead of being a, night, a smart person and just going and putting a GM alternator on it what I did was went out and bought a whole truck and pulled the whole motor trans out in one took the wiring harness out of the truck and then now I'm stuck with uh, this big old project and it'll get done but it's just gonna take time to do it right shouldn't be too bad it looks like a lot it is a lot but we'll get it done now she is by no means the prettiest thing out there <laughs> but it is there under the hood got the 4.7 out of a 2002 Tundra and it does run it is not nowhere near set up ready to go but it is here it's in there the hood closes and all I don't know what this was right here but it was like covered up with silicone and tape when I got it so I just undid it to see what was in there and I don't know what what the reason for doing that was but if you look down here oil filters right up against the frame rail that's gonna have to be fixed I'm gonna have to notch the frame out just to do that or just relocate the oil filter one of the two and when I put it in here I put the motor trans and everything all in at once but right here is my motor mounts I just chopped the old ones off I notched a little C out of the frame with a plasma cutter I put in a piece of quarter inch square tubing with a piece of flat steel to it took the old motor mount that came out of the truck off welded it to my flat steel and then I just bolted it back right back on where it was so yeah and you see the giant hole over here and then you see this little makeshift exhaust for now we're gonna put I think maybe a header on it or go buy another stock manifold. The frame does have to be plated up. This is just temporary because I don't want it ripping the frame off. So we're just going to have to figure that out as we go. Now if we're looking in here, there's a whole bunch of wiring everywhere. It's a mess. Here's the radiator. Trans cooler little fan. I think we're going to take that stuff right there and uh, mount it somewhere in this general area after we get rid of all this stuff right here. And the reason I'm going to have to put the radiator and stuff in the back is you could probably clearly see there is absolutely no room to put a radiator. It's, it's a pretty tight fit. It's right up there against the firewall. Well, not up against it, but it's right there. Now, I did have to make a pretty big hole in order to get this trans in here and make everything level. I had to take a big old chunk out of the firewall and run the tunnel all the way down here. And now the drive shaft will barely clear. But everything is level and it's all true and straight. Now what's going to suck is going through all these wires. I got it right now to where I can stick the key in it and I can run it. It'll fire up and run just fine. But I got to go through all this because I don't want none of this to be a problem in the future. So I got to figure out which wires I can remove, which wires I, can, I have to keep. I got the computer right here out of that truck. <laughs> If you guys look at these right here, these are my uh, ghetto fuel lines just to get it to where I could just fire it up. This is the tank out of that other that Tundra 
and I just got it plugged in and the wire harness comes all the way over here goes back in ties in where it's supposed to we're gonna do something else that's the fuel cell I got right there to put in it we just gotta hook that one up we gotta mount it get it ready to go get those out of the way if you look look back there there's the transfer case you got everything nice true lined up to stock well as stock as it can be I guess a little O2 sensor hanging out down here and uh, there's a uh, ghetto trans mount for now welded a bunch of uh, steel plates to it welded it there it probably won't stay like that that's just for mock-up purposes now what am I going to do for driveline for axle wise now I was wanting to keep it as stock as can be but the transfer case on the Tundra comes out on the opposite side than this truck because this truck is a solid axle already and when they switched to IFS they moved everything over to the other side so what I did was I went out and bought this 97 F350 so I'm going to put the axles out of this drop them right on in there uh, we're going to do four link coil overs I don't know if I want to do 16 inch in the front, 18 inch in the rear, or 14 inches of travel in the front and 16 in the rear. It's up for a debate. We'll get there when we get there. Now I am going to have to take, I think in order to clear the 40s, is move the front axle forward probably about 4 or 5 inches. And then once it's all jacked up doing its thing, it won't, it shouldn't be in the way anymore. Now this truck right here, it has a Dana 60 in the front and a Sterling 10 and a quarter in the rear. So I think that's going to be good enough for what we're doing and they'll hold up stock axles. They'll hold up for what we're going to do for now. But if stuff does start to break, we are going to have to part, start putting uh, heavier duty parts in it. But that's no big deal. We'll get there when we get there. Now my plan is to pull the axles out of this truck right here. I'll do a video of that for you guys. And then we'll strip all the brackets off of it. We'll put a truss kit on it. And then we'll get it set up and ready to move over to this truck right here. And then what we're going to do is probably do the front half of the truck first and then leave the rear relief sprung for now just for roll around purposes and we will put coilovers and stuff on the front because that's that stuff gets expensive really fast four link it get it set up to where all I gotta do is the steering portion of it put in an orbital valve my ram get everything set up smooth then we can take our attention to the rear and do coilovers in the rear, four link it. The back's gonna be the easy half of the whole job. So we ain't really too heartbroken about leaving this alone for now once we get that rear axle over there under it. Now believe it or not, when we put this in here, I did not want to split the trans and the engine apart. I just wanted to put it all in there and it made it easier for everything to be leveled out, if that makes sense and uh, get everything where it needed to be without having to put the trans on it a hundred times and it's just this is pretty much a one-shot job because this little motor mount right here started uh, stretching and breaking down there and pulling out I don't know if you can see it or not probably not but it was really uh, the only shot we had at that point Unless I wanted to wrap a chain around the transmission and do a bunch of stuff like that. But it was pretty much already set to where it needed to be. And uh, one little swipe. And then uh, got to the point where I couldn't get it in there. And I already made this little core support once. And I said hell with it, I'll just make it again. So I just cut this little section out of it. And uh, then it fell right, right in there. 
But if you're planning on doing this without having to cut a bunch of everything, I would definitely split them apart. I don't really care that much. I mean, it's it's a woods truck. It's already beat to death. But hopefully this thing will be able to turn the wheels pretty good. Because before, it barely turned them. <laughs> now back to interior. I do have the whole stock dash. I do have the seats and all that crap. But I am going to have to make a transmission tunnel, remake seat mounts because I had to cut some of them out in order to get this thing in here. But it's okay because that side of the floor was rotted out anyway. Look at that rust hole. No good. But we're good. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share it around, you know, we're going to get at it. And this will be a cool build to do for the channel. And uh, I'm ready to see it done. I've had this thing for a long time, but now it's getting pretty serious. <laughs> but you guys have a good day. We'll see you next time.